Hi there, welcome. This is Linda from Here's to, this is Here's to Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm flustered, but we usually have a TV here and I can see what's going on and it's a blank screen. I hope that isn't reflective of my blank brain. Anyway, welcome to Here's to Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm a nurse practitioner at Family Medical Center in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Tonight we have with us, I have with me, a good friend of mine, a buddy, a pal, we've known each other for a year or two, and um, yep. Claiborne Holtzman. And he is the proprietor, owner, and the establishment of Remedy This Naturally. He's been in natural health for over 40 years, I guess. Yeah, well, he's, you know, after all, you quit counting. <laughs> He's been in natural health a long time. And of course, anybody who watches this show knows that I'm all about natural as much as possible. And Clyburn, I know there's times you have to take medicine. You know, it just, yeah. it, it, it is. You, you got a really bad infection, you have to take some amoxicillin. You, yes, you, if you let things go, you yeah. got to have that punch. Right, that's right. And if you choose to not take care of things as you go, in the diet you choose, exercise, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the things that give you the opportunity to let the body rebuild right. what you're burning up. That's right. And that's, that's basic, Linda, that's how simple it can be, mm -hmm. is making sure that your body, your mind, your soul, and your spirit are in one accord, first of all, with yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then putting God there that make that team effort and then we reach out to other people like you reach out to me I reach out to you because we build based on the camaraderie that's right um, one of the questions I had for you um, I'm seeing a lot of people that are depressed yes I'm seeing kids that feel like they can't go to school because they're scared uh, I'm seeing something. I don't know how it's going to turn around. I know. Um, because this is not good for the generation that's coming no. along now. No. Suicide rates are up for multiple reasons. Um, kids are depressed. They're anxious. They're frustrated. Parents are frustrated. People aren't working. And, yeah. you know, the government holds up all this money that's there for us because of wanting to fund this or fund that. Well, how about we're getting funding everything but the people right now? Well, you know, it, it's kind of subtle. It's like we need to get back where people can make their own decision as to how they take care of their health. Yes. We are actually being treated as if we're dumb, stupid, yes. and can't get the job done. And we need to be able to know that life is all about giving us the opportunity to make choices. That's right. Um, I don't know. This, this goes way back. Uh, and I'm just sharing with you guys we're what's, tonight, what's, what's so. in my heart here. Because when I was first studying this, um, been a long time, folks. Uh, one of the things that came up, and one of the professors or teachers, herbalists or, uh, or doctors, they come out and they said, okay, what's the cure for the common cold? Mm -hmm. And he let it go for a while, and people were giving their examples. They said, well, I take, you know, maybe a drug. Mm -hmm. I take something to help my sinuses to quit draining so whatever's going on with the common cold and after all that was over and said and done the guy made a revolutionary statement that has stuck with me ever since and that was the common cold was the cure for the common cold <laughs> have the cold and it goes away have the cold, let the body build its, its immune, immune system, system, and as it builds its immune system, mm -hmm. it can take and fight off the bad boys, tell them they have no place in our life, and we can overcome the negative of the common cold. Right. And, well, you do it by presenting people flu shots, mm -hmm. you know, because you're giving them the opportunity 
to their immune system being built up so the body can fight off that flu or whatever that strand was at the time. And so the body is doing it because you make it work. Right, right. I know. You know, God gave us a pretty smart body. Yeah. And it functions very well when we fuel it and support it and let it do its job. You know, whatever you have, the body will take care of it. Uh, not destructive things like cancer maybe, but like um, back pain. If yeah. you give your body enough time, it will heal itself. But people, you know, we live in a microwave society. We want it like that. Yeah. And God made us to be slow cookers. And that's just the way it is. Yeah. Well, let's go back since we put God in the middle of this, which oh, okay. we should be. Um, God made man and woman after he made the habitat from which we live from. That's right. The Garden plants, of Eden. Plants and more plants. So what he did was... He took man and made it from the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand, and see if your teaching has told you the same thing, that we have the same number of minerals in our body that's in the soil. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to say so, but I have no idea. And so, I've not studied that. Yeah, but, but one of the things that, let's just use it as a hypothesis that I would think God would do and know. Well, we're, we're made from dirt. Yeah, and so if the were made from dirt, except the ladies, y'all got a chance to get out of the dirt and get a rib. <laughs> but if we're made from those elements, and as we eat, drink, breathe, and move about, we burn up energy, we burn up resources, and then if we know exactly what to put back into them, then the body can heal itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I see it as happening, and it's just a matter, and we have so much technology. Too much. Um, <laughs> and if we can take that technology, well, how about, what are some of the things you test for when a client comes to see you or a patient? You know, blood, the, blood work does what? It shows me if they've got diabetes, it shows me if their kidneys are functioning right, it shows me if their liver's functioning mm -hmm. right. Um, it shows me if their blood cells are normal or if you've got too much of this or not enough of that in your blood. It shows me your cholesterol mm -hmm. and um, your chances of maybe having a heart attack because of high mm -hmm. cholesterol. So you can you can look at a urine and know if you've got kidney stones and so you you, you know words you're looking to find out what the problem is mm. if there is one yeah. yes mm. in other words you're looking mm. clean bill of health is always good that's right that's right <laughs> but so you're looking and and because of that there may be a deficiency or something in the diet absolutely uh, that needs to say well wait a minute. If you'll stop doing this, maybe the blood sugar will come down. Mm -hmm. Or if you're talking to me, I might say uh, chromium would be a good place to start mm -hmm. and uh, because it could be a mineral that you're deficient in. And once you put that back in there, then the what we call homeostasis kicks in. That's right. And with homeostasis... Magnesium is another one. Yeah. And, and your B vitamins. Mm -hmm. And we're deficient in a lot of those things because we have such a terrible food supply. And it's my understanding that the B vitamins are the first one to go bye-bye because of stress. I, yeah, I mean, people so. are so stressed. You know, I, I watched part of, I haven't finished it, a documentary called Social Dilemma. Mm. It's um, on Netflix, and it is from people who um, worked either for Instagram, Google, Facebook. One of the guys there helped develop the like button on Facebook. And it shows, um, it shows how this artificial intelligence can track us and know what we're doing, what our desires are, what our thoughts are, because 
we 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 create patterns for ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. looking in, into things. And um, they said that that's one of the reasons that there's a lot of suicides because of this. Uh, these are the guys that all went in to do build up these, you know, Silicon Valley tech guru corporations, but they started getting a social conscience and they started realizing what all of this was doing to people. Mm. And um, the more you scroll on your phone through Facebook, it it increases your dopamine. And you know, that's a feel good, um, mm -hmm. what is it, a hormone? I don't know, but anyway. Um, and so then kids are so hooked because they want to feel good, so they keep scrolling and scrolling and doing and doing. And then when you can't do it, you get depressed. But of course, then the other side of that too is the bullying on social media, you know, taking to social media to say, she's a real, you know what, she did this, she did that, you know, so then the whole world knows what the discrepancy is between two or three people. Um, it was really interesting. And one thing I found very interesting is he said that Google, if you search Google, and I search Google every day, um, he said, and if let's say you, you search for um, climate mm -hmm. change, he said that based on who you are and your search history and your search patterns, you'll get a different, and your, your zip code, that I would get a different... Um, answer than my friend in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. That's kind of scary, ain't it? Well, you know, I've seen the same thing as for the newspaper. They have one side by side. Both of them have the same headlines, but they are portrayed different mm -hmm. to the different and yeah. going to the different audience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is I, I think we're going to have we are having a tough time to find what our identity is. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the other thing. Everybody's so into this that you don't have this. And you're missing out by not having this, be, you know, and the thing of social distancing, masking, uh, God, expressions on the face, the smiles that are there that mm -hmm. need to be gotten out um, social they got distance in there what, what I want to say is that we have to be socially connected yes. in order to be made whole yes that's right we do we and, absolutely do you know and uh, my mama is the old girl said bless her so her favorite her favorite saying was hugs are better than drugs mm -hmm. and yep. that's what she did and you weren't going to get within a few feet of my mom you were going to get a hug mm -hmm. whether you wanted or not and uh but all of a sudden everybody looked forward to miss eva being the highlight of the party because she showed concern caring and got in the space of somebody else and said I care about you I want you to be part of my space well can I be part of your space yeah. and we can have that power yeah. of overcoming well I'm a little bit religious overcoming death world in the flesh <laughs> mm -hmm. that's right well you know we're social beings and I mean, you know, you, they, we've had our church taken away from us. We've had our our beliefs taken away from us because we can't go to church. We can't, you know, we're, we live in such a politically correct world now that if I say something a certain way, and a, a great example is that Amy Comey Barrett, the one that they're um, trying to get on as a Supreme Court judge, she used the um, term... She didn't use, I think she used it, used, what, how did she, she called the gay people, maybe it was gay, and, and she got creamed for it because they didn't, she didn't use the LBGQT or whatever it is, those five letters, because that's the social way, that includes everybody and that, you know, well, 
I use the term gay, you know, I don't have a judgment against it, and she didn't either, but they were getting on her because of what, because she wasn't politically correct. Well, you know, one of the things that, that happens there is that we've got to, if we give you space, you've got to give me space. Mm -hmm. If you want to tell me and preach to me about what I should be doing, then I demand equal time. That's right. I want That's time to be either. able. I want time to be able for you <laughs> to be part of me, and I want to be part of you. I don't care what your social uh, right. preferences are. Right. We still. The energy that I have and the energy you have are critical in making us in a lump sum of being able to have harmony. Mm -hmm. It's not about breaking up the family, tearing up the people. It's about coming together as one with different opinions and one and being able to share my beliefs, you share your beliefs, and you know, so what? We differ. Right. We have different opinions, have different beliefs. But when it comes to the health and wealth of each other, we have got to be able to say, I will support you. You support me. Now let's move forward. Yeah, you don't have to agree. <clears throat> Because I'll tell you what, we have some colorful family discussions around holidays when, you know, we've got the Libertarian, we've got the Democrat, we've got the Republican, we've got extreme liberal, we've got extreme conservatism, but we all love each other. And, and that's what matters. We, we focus on the things that we can talk about. Who's president is not going to affect my relationship with my Democratic child? No, and, and you know, it shouldn't. No. You should be able to love and be accepted love and accept the other person that's right we got to right. do it i know i know and all right it's go time for, it. for our first break and i promise we're going to get back to your health i promise we, we are talking we, about health <laughs> mental health and it, it does affect stress will definitely affect your physical health I can't tell you how many people come they think they're having a heart attack and they're having a panic attack so anyway we'll be right back after this break with more of here's to good health don't go away we'll see you in just a minute <laughs> At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. Hi, I'm Richard Goss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mount. I'm here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almond's Drug Store's locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almond's Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almond's Drug Store's, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic supports to compression hose to hard to find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they will get anywhere else. Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almonds Drugstore staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almonds, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both 
both of our stores have drive through windows. We guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. Call Owens Drugs today. 443-3138. Or four four six zero zero one four. Welcome back. This is Here's to Your Good Health. I'm Linda Prezioso. I'm here with Claiborne Holtzman, who is a um, store owner. He has he owns Remedy This Health, Remedy This Naturally. He's been in the health food business for a long, long time. He started when his one of his children, and I don't even know how old that child is. We won't talk about that either. We don't talk about age a lot around here. But anyway, he had a son that wasn't doing well and the doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong and so Claiborne went to researching and found out some natural remedies and the kid turned out okay. So that's, that's really, that's it in a nutshell why um, Claiborne is into your, you know, your good health. I refer plenty of patients to that store um, I'm a full. I'm a believer in supplements, as anybody who watches this show on a regular basis knows. I also believe in supplements from good, reputable companies. Um, not that Walmart and CVS are not good, reputable companies. I don't mean that, but you know, their focus is not on supplements. That's not their big sales. If they never sold another vitamin D tablet, they would be just fine. But when you've got local folks like Claiborne who make their money off of supplements, you know that they're going to be good and pharmaceutical grade because if he doesn't sell good supplements and if they don't work, guess what? You're not coming back. You don't come back, he doesn't have a store. It's pretty simple. One, two, three. When but you cut through the chase, you got right down to it, didn't you, girl? <laughs> So tell us about your store. Where is it? How often is it open? What's going on? Okay, the, we're at 1140 Benvenue Road, and uh, that's right before you go over the bridge coming from downtown, uh, 301, uh, that goes to the mall. That's where we're located. Uh, we've been in that location for the last 16 years. Has it been that long? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and inside the uh, health food store is a contract post office where you can mail your letters. We do things that the Postal Service does for you except we don't have any mailboxes for you to put there. No duck stamps and no money orders. But other than that, if we need to send it for you, we'd be more than happy to send it for you. Mm -hmm. uh, it but is, we can leave there and somebody <coughs> comes and picks it up. Absolutely, right? yes. Uh, and they pick up more usually than one time a day. Mm -hmm. Now the post office and the health food store Monday through Friday both are open from 10 to 5. Our hours has changed when the pandemic came in mm -hmm. and we're still operating on those scheduled hours. Uh, the post office is open on Saturday from 10 to 2 and the health food store till 5. We're in the process and you need to check with us. Uh, <clears throat> we've got a cafe that will be opening up and sharing the end of this week here. Uh, check back and see and ask about the cafe. Uh, if you need to call the store, it's 977-9077 <clears throat> and ask questions. Linda, what is amazing to me is how many people pass our store every day and have never been in and we've been there in that location uh, <clears throat> almost 16 years. I know, it's crazy. And it? once they come in they see and they say, wow, 
it's just like the post office, the cafe, mm -hmm. the health food store. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> there is a whole wall of herbs that are in their actual state, maybe dried, mm -hmm. that you can come in and make your own remedies. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and a lot of our teas. It is really phenomenal how just sitting down, having a hot cup of tea, and sipping it and enjoying it in the so luxury relaxing. of your home. Yes. <clears throat> and you've got that, you can take it warm, and then what I've got left over, in my personal opinion, I make it cold, and I usually sweeten it if I want to, with hun honey, um, the, uh, not, not xylitol, yeah, xylitol, <clears throat> and, uh, natural sweeteners mm -hmm. that you can put in there. Homeopathics, uh, <clears throat> that is where light cures light. Mm -hmm. If you have a something going on uh, <clears throat> that you need something to help the body to try to do it, homeopathy is just mm -hmm. wonderful for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to finding out, there are things that Men and women both have problems with rectile dysfunction. That was the men, not the women. Uh, when <laughs> I said I kind of led into that one, but and, hit, and hit the punchline. Women, women need a pink <coughs> pill. Where Amen. Men need a blue pill, but it's, it's and, a and little so, bit different physiology. And we do have things there there that uh, are necessary for people to be able to enjoy their romantic feeling mm -hmm. um, and we we need to understand that if we can get back to homeostasis as close as we can to our natural how we're supposed to be then these natural remedies will work better if you've gotten and you've gone too far and, and you need to get things taken care of Linda knows what to do we are prevention we are mm -hmm. making sure that you do what helps to keep you balanced. Right. And if you do that, then your chances of getting sick are less. That's right. Because the body can ward off mm -hmm. the negative stuff. That's right. So that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, and. and and I'm not the one to talk to you about the cafe because I'm not putting the expertise in there. But I just say you need to check it out because mm -hmm. it's going to be the muffins and the cookies and stuff. We've been doing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and you, those are available. And uh, so what else I you ask me? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I remember a couple of years ago you had a little fair, I guess. You know, you had... Like you had a vendor from mm. Nashville that made meatless hot dogs. They were good. We will have, they're going to be the hot dog we'll be serving. Mm -hmm. They're really good, y'all. you got to try them. And it's just, it's cool. Yeah. It is just cool. And uh, soup and sandwich going to be the way to go. Mm -hmm. So, um, Soup, sandwich, and a cup <clears throat> of tea. Yeah. And, and there is a, a small area in the front of the store that has tables and chairs mm -hmm. for you to come in and to enjoy what you're mm -hmm. purchasing to eat. Do you, do you have a um, limit of people can come in because of COVID? Are you requiring masks? What are you doing for that? Um, we do have the mask that going on because it has not been. Well, uh, it's it's it's. You know, I'm waiting to see what the governor says we can do and can't do, and we're we comply. Sure. sure. Because uh, well, we need health to. health is that importance, uh, and the other thing we think when it comes to COVID, it's so important to build the immune system. Silver is critical. Vitamin D, mm -hmm. zinc. You know, bees, those things are. The bees. Yeah. We've got to build the immune system. Mm -hmm. And there again, it is my f belief that as we build, then the body gets the resistance and we can overcome the stuff that's happening to that's us. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really important. 
it's important what we eat you know the the processed <coughs> foods Claiborne are they have very little nutrition if anything they're full of sugar fat and salt yeah and you you know if you read a label and you can't you can't you don't know how to pronounce those words that are <laughs> in it you probably shouldn't be eating it you know you can read broccoli and water and celery yeah. you know you can read those words yeah and we do have a phenomenal chicken salad do you yes uh, as as a one of the other slogans or thing is it'll make a bulldog break his chain. Oh wow! <laughs> to get or, to it, I was at a, a <laughs> festival in the mountains and they were selling some um, barbecue sauce and they and it it's called slap your mama because <laughs> you know, you'll hear people say that is so good you make you slap your mama yeah. <laughs> that was cute and then, so. mama, and then, then mama have you picking yourself up off the ground that's right mama's gonna get you <clears throat> so um i was re i was telling koi but i was reading an article before it came tonight it said seven ways to prevent cancer and so you know i read with interest you know cool. i always want to know so i can tell my folks and you know it's the same stuff i've been preaching eat healthy eat mostly plants god gave us plants if you're going to eat meat get free range meat please do not eat the meats that are full of hormones and you know the the junk that they feed these animals to fatten them up before they go to slaughter so they'll have this big huge piece of meat for you it it's not healthy for you it's not good for your body the gmos are not good for your body you know i'm i'm trying to find all um like heirloom seeds and non-gmo seeds to plant in my garden because i you know you don't need all that genetically modified stuff if it's genetically modified there what what what's it doing to me we, we've got to be cautious and we've got to learn and uh, talk about hormones uh, and you were talking about being in when, and then when fast food came about in the 50s and the 60s and then people noticed that the girls were becoming developed earlier that's from the hormones of the and, and, and the men were and the boys were coming hornier earlier <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that's hormones kicking in um, and so what it was and what people have contributed to is the hormones make us develop faster because what they're putting into the feed of the what we eat right. has right. to be matured quicker gets to the grocery shelf a lot quicker because and then they become a little bit bigger and they ended up not being able to stand on the feet because they grow so fast the legs can't hold them up that's right oh uh, so that is one of the things that has really caused a change in our youth yes. is the hormones yes. and how we mature, mm -hmm. I believe, too quick for our mind to be able to keep up with our body. Yes. And those hormones <clears throat> rule, honey. You know that, and I know that, and most all of you out there know that too. So, and then also exercise. You know, we are made to move. God built us to move. You know, when back in the day, everybody worked out in the fields. So you were outside all day. You got your vitamin D. You worked, and so you were moving. You don't have to go to a gym, and so that's important. You have to learn how to live stress-free. Now that's a biggie, and I haven't quite gotten there yet. I'm better now than I was. I think some of that's just age, but you know, we've got to learn to, to live stress-free. Stress will kill us. Um, immunize is, you know, use all that we can do to build up our immune system. And as, you know, Claiborne alluded to earlier in the program, how do you cure the common cold? You get a common cold because it, the, your body develops the immunity it needs to stay away so that when that virus comes back, it won't, it won't, you know, you'll be able to, to fight it off. Um, they they recommended let's see oh absolutely no smoking you know that's kind of common mm -hmm. sense ain't it 
keep your doctor's appointments and there's one other point and I can't remember that so I got six out of seven from memory you that's did, not too bad you did good on that yeah and yeah. Uh, I hope they were listening and writing them down because it's so important for people to realize that if we will pay attention to how our body talks to us when we start getting aches and pains and then we start covering it up the ache and pain doesn't go away it just gets worse mm -hmm. and then we got to start doing some replacement parts mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah and that's the thing with pain you know you can have back pain and I can give you something so the pain goes away but it doesn't get to the core it doesn't yeah. get to the problem and so you know Again, moving is a great thing, especially for back pain and things like that. Physical therapy is awesome. Well, you know, and, and then once we therapies. give the body what it needs, if it's uh, a deficiency, uh, once you figure what that deficiency is and you put it back into the body, then it'll have a tendency to lessen what's going on because it has the nutrients to make it uh, fill in the blank that's, that's right. missing. That's right. Yeah, so it's important to cook from scratch. You know, people, my granddaughter has a, um, a roommate that um, she went over to my daughter's house and my daughter cooked and, and the girl said to my, the, the roommate said to my granddaughter, Phoebe, can we have spices like that? I've never seen so many spices. Because her mother cooks everything out of a box and a can. Mm -hmm. You know, if she doesn't cook anything fresh. Well, so this girl is skinny as a rail, but I bet she's not real healthy <laughs> because she's not had real food to put in her body. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sad that you you've grown up and don't know how to cook. I didn't know that people didn't know how to cook. I I cooked all my life. I enjoy cooking. I do when I have the time. Yeah, and it does take times, and uh, you know, I, I like it, you know, or try to come up with some concoctions that, uh, well, actually today I went out in the yard and I planted um, some salad. Mm -hmm. Seven. It's got seven different uh, greens in it, mm -hmm. and I just took a pair of scissors, cut them off, um, and to kill any bugs that may have been in there or worms, they hadn't got that big yet. Um, I used apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. and uh, put that in there mm -hmm. and let it sit, and then I had some chicken salad from Remedy This Naturally, mm -hmm. along with greens with some. Uh, apple cider and uh, vinegar is what I put on there and that was it mm -hmm. and, and I it thoroughly delicious. enjoyed it mm -hmm. uh, I've got a oh I, there I, my nephew made me some hot sauce and barbecue sauce or mm. whatever you want to use it for I've used it for everything and it's made with Bragg's vinegar uh -huh, uh -huh. and hot pepper uh -huh. and stuff and it is just yummy I, absolutely I um I we've gotten a bunch of nectarines and I didn't know what to do with them all. You can only eat so many. You got it, you know. And so I was googling for different recipes and I saw a um, nectarine salsa and I've made peach salsa and I've made um, mango salsa. So I cut up the the um, nectarines and put in some red onion and garlic and cilantro and. Um, lime juice mm -hmm. and had that with salmon oh it was so good it was yummy 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 ah oh, was really that good that just reminded me i haven't said salmon in a while well it's time to get some fish it in is do that and i love to get the uh one coming in from alaska yes yes uh, atlantic salmon is nowhere near as good as pacific salmon yeah all right, it's time for our break again. Don't go away. If you have any questions, give us a call, 407-1111. I bet somebody's out there saying, Linda, you don't know what you're talking about. Or Clayburn, <laughs> I want to know about this herb or this spice or this whatever. Uh, so we'll be right back with more of Here's Your Good Health. Don't go away.
At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. When faced with special care needs for elderly or disabled loved ones, families want compassionate, comforting care. That's Tender Touch Home Care Services' goal, providing the level of care we would expect for our own. With over 10 years of home care excellence, Tender Touch provides an array of services that keeps your loved one at home. From personal care, light housekeeping, errands, and meal preparation to our private duty care program, which combines all of our home care offerings in one package. Tender Touch Home Care Services, where your needs are our concern. Hi, I'm Richard Goss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mountain. I'm here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almond's Drug Store's locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almond's Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almond's Drug Store's, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic support, to compression hose, to hard-to-find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they will get anywhere else. Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almond's Drug Store staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almond's, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both of our stores have drive through windows, we guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face, or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. Call Almond's Drugs today. 443-3138 or 446-0014. All right, we're back. Hello, hello. My husband called during the break. I said, Bob, why are you calling me? Linda, there's chicken in the oven. Yes, I know. I left it there. I told you it would be done. I have roast chicken with vegetables in the oven. I put it in about 4 o'clock on a real low oven. I like it slow cooked. And um, I said, now when you get home from soccer practice, so he, of course, Sound like finger licking good to me. Well, you know, I, I don't look like the colonel, but we'll hey, see. I think it's better than the colonel with all the different spices. <laughs> Made with and stuff. love, yes. I put a yeah. lot of spices in it. I like a lot of spice. And that's so. Um, you know, people just need to get back to the basics, don't they? I agree, one hundred percent. We we got to go back to what we've lost uh what's been taken away from us by mm -hmm. the being caught up in the fast food industry uh, where things have shelf life instead of sale life c-e-l-l -L, yeah, not s-a-l-e yep and we need it in our cellular life is yes. what's going to make the difference as to how we live how we have birthdays or don't have birthdays mm -hmm and what the quality of life is going that's to right. be so that is so important. that's important we need quality of life not quantity of yeah. life and you know i i just look at some of the things and um i i i just think we can do better i think we've got to do better and i think we've got to uh, one we got to get along 
two we got to make sure that our life and our health are lined up with the creator who made us That's right. now if you don't believe that then my teaching to you is not going to be beneficial because I believe you've got to put God in what you're doing in order for it to work uh, I'm from the old school in that aspect of it and I believe that there is a spiritual awakening within people who give it the opportunity to happen. Now, some of you may say, well, I practice Tai Chi, I practice uh, meditation. You know, go for it. Get out of your space and get into the spiritual realm. That you got to make it happen. you got to have the opportunity for love to be manifested and caring to be manifested and it has everything to do with everybody not just one particular That's right. person That's right. we're all in it together and you know I something that you said earlier is prevention if we do these things and prevent I mean, I've got patients that are 70 years old and maybe take a blood pressure pill. Well, let's, let's make it more realistic. Uh, you're talking about if you were start to sneezing and having a cold, rest. Yes. Drink your ch and eat your chicken noodle soup. Yes. In our oh, yeah. aspect. That's the other one. Hydration, plenty of water. And okay. once that happens, then the body can start healing. You know, give your body when it starts getting aching and painy, give it some rest. Yes. Let it heal itself. Yes. It will do it. It will take care of you. We have to you. learn how to listen to our bodies. Yeah. We really do. And you know, we're in such, well we were, we're not in quite such a fast paced environment anymore, but it's like you said, if you're achy and, and don't feel well, lay down. Take a rest, and especially now in these days of COVID, if you've got body aches, nobody wants you around them <laughs> for fear of that happening. But, you know, a lot yeah. of times, I mean, I've had stuff where I feel achy and crummy for a day, but I rest and take care of myself, drink extra fluid, and I wake up the next day and I'm fine. And when you talked about that hydration, mm -hmm. you know, there's some little things you we can pour in there for helping to give the body natural ability to have some more energy help it to get where it can get rid of the negative um, stuff that's going on in our system and as we rest drink the water eat the foods that are going to help us without a whole lot of having to digest. If you're starting to feel achy and sick and pain, start with your liquid diet. Mm -hmm. Don't be going and eating a steak because what's yes. going to happen, the body's not going to be able to build right. your immune system because it's working with that heavy load mm -hmm. that you put down in the mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. So that's what's, that's what's about a uh, diet of fruits and vegetables and greens, they, they, those things are easy for our body to work with and that's what we gotta have. That's right, that's exactly right. And it's really, it, it's, it's not rocket scientists, you just eat healthy and, and drink plenty of water and forget all the diet soda and look at the stuff that, the chemicals in that. And Coca-Cola, I mean if you want to clear off the the crud around your um, battery, your battery cables, <laughs> pour some Coca-Cola on it. Well, if it clears off that battery pulse, what does it do to your belly? I mean, um, you know. The, the deal on that is the carbonation, what it does once you put it in your body, your body basically has to shut down and get rid of it. It has to get it well, out of the system has to get rid of the of the system mm -hmm. so when you're hydrating with a carbonated beverage you're actually robbing yourself of the oxygen you need to in order for you to perform mm -hmm. um, you know even when I was growing up here we go again we it go. was funny to me as a child the girl basketball team they gave them orange slices. 
Oh yeah, they did that in soccer when my kids were mm -hmm. in soccer. They gave you orange slices and water yep. in between the breaks because the orange juice and from the orange would get the sugar would give you more energy. Mm -hmm. And it's a natural sugar. Absolutely. And so you boost that energy and you put it in the system and it doesn't give you that boost and then boom fall down right and what happens with that caffeine you get the boost and then you get the drop off and then you wonder I mean sometimes the best thing in the world is when you have a headache is to drink a cup of coffee yeah because it will yeah the caffeine will get it back going but once that gets back to balance trade in for the water and what I put in my water a lot is green foods. Mm -hmm. You know, that is usually my meal. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's quick. Mm -hmm. I can take a scoop of greens mm -hmm. and put in a shaker, a couple ice cubes. And uh, what I love right now is we've got apple juice. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, that the real stuff, mm -hmm. the squeezings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And apple, actually, I think they call it apple cider yeah. instead yeah. of just yeah. juice. Because yeah. so. juice has a lot of sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Not only natural sugar from the apples, but they put sugar in it too because they want you to. You oh. know, sugar's addictive. It, mild form of cocaine. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Yeah. If you don't believe it, try taking it out of your diet and see what happens. You're gonna. You're gonna but go once you get it, but, but once you get it done, it is amazing how things will um, improve and how you'll be able to endure more and do more mm -hmm. physically, mentally, and. You'll be able to take care of the finances because you got, you can think honestly. Should you buy this or not buy this? That's right. Because you got to be able to put it in perspective. Mm -hmm. So for I know. sure. Well, I want to take the last couple of minutes. I don't know if you know that Claiborne is running for office for state House of Representatives. Representative. Um, he's he lives in Edgecombe County. His opposing mate is um, Shelley Willingham. Shelley's been in there for a long time. I'm not sure how many years, and I think he's probably done a good job. I don't know much about you know. I don't keep track of Edgecombe County politics. I kind of try to keep up with Nash County, but <laughs> that ain't so good either. But anyway, so tell us why you are putting yourself out there like that. It's all about the kids. It's all about the next generations that are coming along. It's all about <sighs> people have bumped their head. That's what the old folks used to say. And one is when the life of a child and the abortion issue is one of the things that I believe we should give the kids a chance. Uh, and then even when the baby is born and it's it's well let's put it this way it's a botched abortion then they still can take and remove that child's life and i don't think that's right mm -hmm. that's the main thing there about what i do mm -hmm. and all these things uh shelly agrees that uh it's okay to do that the woman should have the choice of what she does uh, the other thing is, I believe security is very, very important. I believe, we, I grew up, we didn't lock our doors. Yeah. You know, and now taking money away from the police department and putting it in some social thing. I mean, our sheriff in Edgecombe County is hitting up the commissioners all the time for money to be able to su support our police force in Edgecombe County. Um, so. I, I think uh, we should make sure they have what they need and don't take the money away from them. The other thing is school choice. I think parents should make that choice. Mm -hmm. uh, not the, uh, not the you know, and mm -hmm. my opponent says that the um, only school should be the public school. Uh, one shoe doesn't fit all. 
we right. in order for us to get what we need in Edgecombe County, we got to have people that are trained to be able to take the jobs. They've got to be available when the jobs are offered, so the people know they can have a workforce. Mm -hmm. You you've got people leaving and going out of our area. Uh, well, there's a lot coming back into our area now because of uh, the pandemic and they're leaving the big city and moving to the area, mm -hmm. which is even more critical uh, that Edgecombe County in the city gets its own school mm -hmm. to work with mm -hmm. and it's up to the commissioners of uh, Edgecombe County, but as a representative in the house, uh, I can sure help go to bat for them to get the finances they need to do sure. that. Sure. Um, you know, people need a choice, and that's what I'm doing. I'm offering a choice, and it's not black and it's not white. My theme has been two men, two races, one goal. And that's uh, Sammy Webb and I have been doing that since March of 2020 and letting people know it's not about the race of color. It's about the race of humanity working with one another Absolutely. that we can have the ability to love and get down to the nitty gritty and let's do stuff together and That's make right. it happen. That's right. Uh, because of my background and understanding, I have the highest respect for the people that were slaves, the people that were members of making the city of Princeville, because what has come out of that, I have gotten, when we had a health food store in Tarboro, the people there came, I shared with them, they shared with me, and they got back to the home remedies of what was given them to help them overcome the stuff that was causing problems in the area. And so, you know, we've worked hard to make sure that there is camaraderie and unity within the people we've worked with. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about offering the opportunity for challenges to make us work together. Yeah. And that's what we gotta do. So, um, you know, it's about what do you want? Mm -hmm. You know, do you, what social issues are important to you? Right. Right. And me, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and giving that to every individual and making sure they have the freedom to do that. That's all. Awesome. That's where I'm coming from. That's all. Awesome. Thank you for giving well, me a minute to speak about it. We've got to go. It's Our time is up. We will see you next week with more of Here's Your Good Health. So thanks so much for watching. Good night. Good night. Thank you, guys.